Anopharis is just so funny and warm. I really love that we can have someone who uh, brings some such sort of warmth and soul to a character who is actually really, you know, a little bit, you know, and uh, not the most sort of morally, not the most moral character. So uh, I think that it's a great sort of combination of her and the character just create something really um, special. And she's just such a pleasure to work with. And so, um, so generous and uh, you know exactly exactly what you hope Anna Faris is going to be like. And then working with Kathleen Turner is is you know really uh, a special experience. She's uh, she just really brought so much incredible life to Aunt Hilda and was uh, incredibly funny. Um, yeah, she's just on another level. And uh, Rosemary DeWitt is. A phenomenal actor. I've just always loved her and her work, and so to have her in this film, and you know, playing against type because she's so naturally likable and endearing as a character. But you know, to have her play someone who is really quite, you know, dark and cynical was really was really fun. And then working also with her husband Ron, that was such fun just to do their their kind of dynamic together, which of course in the film is very very different to the dynamic they have in real life. And Ron is such a pleasure, such a good actor, um, and you know I've always loved watching him. And so yeah, just a real you know a, a real thrill to have him also in in the in the in the film. And then David Duchovny was just brilliantly funny. Just every day made me laugh, had ideas all the time. You know, I just, I've always thought of him as a brilliant comedic actor ever since uh, first watching him in Larry Sanders, you know, decades ago. And he was, I just remember how much he made me laugh. And so to get to work with him and for him to be uh, just as funny, in fact, even more funny than I, uh, I anticipated it was, was a real gift. Well, you know, ch you know, directing comedy is, is really, uh, you know, it's it's tricky because everyone has a sort of subjective view of comedy and what is funny and what you know. So you really have to, you know, you have obviously act, the actors bring their own their own uh, uh, sort of substance to it and their own their own feelings and their own ideas. And so uh, it's a, it's really a, a kind of uh, a collaboration I think between the director and the actors to just create hopefully on set an environment that people feel good about trying things out and you know trying to be funny and you know and maybe failing and maybe succeeding and you know and, and then just making sure that I'm there to, to capture the gold that they provide. I mean I think that when uh, you know in, in pre-production we were really looking to create a tone and create a feeling that we wanted for the film and uh, you know part of that was for it to feel natural and real you know I, I really wanted some of the things that happen in the film are quite extreme and absurdist and I think that for me that really works if it feels like you believe in these characters you believe in the world that they they inhabit even if it's the things that they do are somewhat ridiculous. So we really wanted to go for a sort of an element of naturalism, but also to be really, um, you know, attractive and appealing to, to watch and to look at, um, for everyone to feel distinct. We have all these wonderful actors playing these different characters, and I just wanted all the characters to feel distinct in their own, in their, to own their own space, as it were, so that when you look at them all together, it's like this, hodgepodge of weird and wonderful characters who you just sort of love individually but as a group uh, they you know hope they hopefully look and, and feel amazing together. I think the main thing that I really want from, from this movie is for the audience to be really entertained and to feel like they've gone on a ride you know they've gone on a ride with this strange wonderful not always you know not always moral group of characters but we you know just you get on the train right at the beginning and you're just gonna go on this ride with them that hopefully is you know, a bit of a roller coaster, just really fun and entertaining. Um, and you know, I think you, you feel that despite all their terrible flaws as people that you feel, you know, a real genuine warmth for them and you've enjoyed hanging out with these characters for the for the length of the film. Yeah, I was really sort of inspired to write I just I think I was looking at the fact that there were so many these amazing actors, especially female actors, 
Um, you know, and I really wanted to do something where the female characters sort of led the way in terms of behavior that was interesting and funny and maybe a bit weird and certainly sort of morally challenging um, and characters that are flawed. Um, and you know, that was, that was a big part of why I wanted to write this particular movie. It's just been a really, you know, intense and memorable experience just working with this remarkable monster uh, in New Orleans which has been uh, a, a sort of a magical experience in itself and uh, you know and, and hopefully some of the, the the sort of the magic of this of this uh, experience will translate and onto the screen and uh, and the audience will be able to enjoy what we what we presented to them.